A family from Cornwall is calling for a change in the law after the man who killed their son in a hit and run walked free from court. Wayne Schilling failed to stop when he hit Ryan Soltern on a road in St Teth a year ago. He also failed to report the incident to the police for 36 hours. Melanie Chiswell has been talking to Ryan's parents. He's just an incredible son. Um, so proud of what he achieved in his short life. He was such a loving husband to Kath and devoted to his son Harry. Um, it's a huge loss to them. A year after Ryan was killed, the grief is still raw. Ryan was lying in the road in St Teth when Wayne Schilling hit him, but no one knows why. He was walking to a party with friends after a night at a carnival. Instead of the maximum six months prison sentence for hit and run, Wayne Schilling got a four month suspended sentence. The law just needs to be changed in respect of hit and run. If people don't stop, they must have a reason they don't stop. And if it, they run, it can't be proven. Um, so therefore, at the moment, the law just dictates a six-month maximum sentence, which, for my son's life, it's yeah. just not enough. No. It... And how does that make you feel? Angry. Very angry. You probably would have had more respect if he did the right thing and stopped. Our daughter said the same. If he had stopped, we wouldn't feel such anger that we feel now, that he shows so little respect for our son. A witness told the court that Wayne Schilling had been drinking and was away with the fairies before driving home. He didn't tell police that he'd hit Ryan for 36 hours. He was also given a 12-month ban and an evening curfew. We knew we could expect a maximum of six months but still no prison it's suspended and he's still living down the road this is where ryan's body was found with what can only be described as horrific injuries after being dragged under wayne shilling's car from the road sign you can see behind me to here and even though ryan is remembered here his family still find it desperately painful to visit this spot. What's your, what's your favourite memory? The fun games. Yeah. The smiles. The hug. And I don't think we'll have that again. We've lost that in our life. We worry we'll never have that, that joy again. And I'll never hug him or speak to him or see him and that. Destroys me. Sorry. Well, the Sultan family are now calling for a change in the law, and the issue has been raised by road safety campaigners. Scott Bingham's been following the story for us and is with us now. What more can you tell us, Scott? Well, Justin, the magistrates described this as a tragic and sad case. They told Wayne Schilling, the damage to your car was so severe that you must have been aware that a collision had taken place. And he was sentenced to four months, and that was suspended for a year. But Ryan Sultan's family, as you heard in that report, were unhappy with that sentence. Now, currently, hit-and-run drivers face a maximum sentence of six months where there's no other evidence of careless or dangerous driving. Now, the Sultans are calling for a new standalone law with a custodial sentence that cannot be suspended, and they're taking that up with their local MP, Scott Mann. Now, the road safety charity Brake has called for hit-and-run drivers who kill or seriously injure to face the same penalties as other drivers who inflict such destruction. So for death by dangerous driving, for example, that could be a sentence of up to 14 years. I spoke to the Ministry of Justice today. A spokesperson said, our thoughts remain with the family and friends of Mr Salter. While the independent judiciary will consider the facts of each case, drivers who fail to stop can face more serious charges, which can carry a maximum of life in prison. OK, Scott, thank you very much indeed.